Hey, are you thinking about moving to Westland? You're wondering, hey, how much does it actually cost to live in Westland? Well, in this video, I'm gonna do cost of living in Westland, Oregon. Hey everybody, Steve Crawford, your Westland agent here. Like I said, we're gonna be talking about cost of living in Westland, Oregon. Hey, I get phone calls all the time. People who want to move to Westland, asking questions about neighborhoods and schools and all that kind of stuff, hit me up. My phone number's on the screen right now. I'm happy to answer all your questions, help you get settled into the perfect community for you and your needs. All my contact information is below. All right, let's get right into the cost of living here. All right, so cost of living doesn't really have an order, so we're just gonna go into it. House prices, we're gonna start with house prices. So I ran a report this morning. Here's my report. I ran it today, right? This is as of this morning through the end of September of all sales in West Lynn. Average home price, $807,000. And my search went from zero to $2 million, right? There's some homes above that that I wanted to take out of the average. The median home price right now in West Lynn, $740,000. Homes are selling. We're in a weird market right now. I think you probably know that. We're selling at about 102% of asking right now on average on all homes, right? That goes from the you know, $250,000 condo up to the $2 million house. We're averaging about 102% of sales price. So keep that in mind as the market shifts a little bit, maybe that number comes down a little, I don't quite know. $740,000 is your average price. Let's get right into rent then. If we're gonna stick with the housing, let's talk about rent. So the average rent in Westland right now is about 1748. Now it takes all rentals into consideration, right? But I have actually got the data right here for individual bedrooms. So average on the market right now available to rent. I did a search this morning, 56 available rentals in Westland as we speak right now on the 20th of October, 2021, all right? So an average two bedroom house is renting for about $2,100. Uh, an average three bedroom house is renting for about $2,800. And an average four bedroom house is renting for just over $3,000. So those are the averages. There's highs, there's lows. Those are your averages. Keep that in mind if you're looking for a rental in Westland. All right, so I'm gonna put a graphic on the screen right now that will show you kind of how Westland stacks up with Portland Metro as a whole, the state of Oregon as a whole, and the United States as a whole, right? So studio apartments are about 1,200 in, in Westland. Um, let's just say United States is about 950. The graphics there, you can read it. Uh, you can see the one bedrooms is about 1283. National average on that's about 1048. A two bedrooms about 1473. National average is 1278. So, and the trend continues, right? Westland is actually one of the more expensive areas to live in all of Oregon and pretty much the West Coast, other than Seattle and California and all that kind of stuff. But in Oregon, it's one of the higher, higher end cities. So therefore your rents are gonna be a little bit more money. So, but there it is, national average. You can see that graphic. Um, hopefully that provides a little information for you. All right, so I'm gonna stick with house prices because I want you to have a little bit of a comparison. So in my other videos, I've mentioned Westland, Lake Oswego, right? So Lake Oswego is our neighboring city. Uh, also really good, one or two for schools, very similar to Westland, it's a little bit bigger. We're 27,000, they're closer to 40,000 people, um, but their median's 905 and our median is 740. So it gives you an idea of how much more. I raised their average up to 4 million because they have a lake and some of the homes around the lake are all 3.5 to 5.5. Five. So I raised it up to $5 million, so that median skewed a little bit, but still $900,000 to live in Lake Oswego, that is. In comparison, on the other side, Wilsonville, which Westland Wilsonville shares the same school district. It's called the Westland Wilsonville School District. So with that said, Wilsonville, beautiful little town. They have a little bit more uh, communities that are driven like new construction, smaller communities where you got, you know, your six foot between the two properties. They've got a lot more of those. So their prices are a little bit lower. Their median home price is 600,000 right now. So that gives you an idea between Wilsonville at 600,000, Westland at 740 and Lake Oswego at 900. Three kind of neighboring cities, all really well connected, pretty close to each other. That gives you an idea of how much it costs to live in this area. Okay, let's get into some of the other ideas. Utilities were at about 83% of the national average, so 17% cheaper than the national average. I don't know where you're coming from, but if you're comparing us to other cities, we're about 17% cheaper. Grocery, we're at about 105%, so 5% more expensive to buy food in general, restaurants and grocery stores, than the national average. I'm comparing to the national average just to give you a baseline. Healthcare or health insurance, whatever you wanna look at, we're about 14% cheaper here in Oregon than the national average. All right, so 
I've got a graphic here. I'm actually gonna put this on the screen, but this is actually, uh, overall, we're at about 47%. So 147% of the national average, meaning 47% more expensive than the national average. Now, obviously you're taking a lot of the Midwest into that national average where the cost of living is really low. So it's all a grain of salt, but we're about 47% more expensive than the national average. Here's an interesting stat that I, that I found comparing um, West Lynn, if you will, to other major cities. Now, West Lynn's not a major city, it's a suburb of Portland, but I was able to pull this off. So we were about 69% cheaper than San Francisco. We're 38% cheaper than Washington, DC. We're a little bit more expensive than Miami by about 8%, about 3% more expensive than Chicago, but we're cheaper than Boston, cheaper than New York, obviously, by 63% cheaper. And we're 20% more expensive than Dallas, Texas, which everybody knows you can buy like a 5,000 square foot mansion on three acres in Dallas, Texas for 500 grand, right? So um, that's not Westland. But anyway, I thought that was interesting information. Taxes, last thing I'm gonna talk about, property taxes. So uh, there's a joke actually in the Portland metro area of everybody trying to move out of Multnomah County because the taxes are so high. So Westland is not one of the cheaper areas, but it's about you know half a percent cheaper than Multnomah County right next door. Portland is Multnomah County for the most part. It's two counties, Washington County, Multnomah County, but Multnomah takes up most of Portland. So with that said though, they're, they're about two and a half percent of your tax assessed value and Westland hovers between one eight and two percent of your tax assessed value. So tax assessed value is different than the value of your home. It's on your tax records. You can take it up, look that up yourselves, but it's about half a percent cheaper than living in Multnomah County right next door. But you get to live in Westland with all the good schools and all the different stuff and low crime rate, and all of the stuff that I put in my pros and cons. So check out that video. Anyway, that's the wrap up for the cost of living in Westland, Oregon. I hope you found this information valuable. And by the way, if you have any more questions, like I said before, my number's down below. People call me all the time asking questions about moving to the area. I'm happy to help. I'm Steve Crawford, your Westland agent. I'll see you in the next video.